The origins and culture of film noir and their codes and conventions. Film noir developed in the early 1940s during World War II. The term film noir was adopted from French film critics, for example Nino Frank, who was shocked by its dark, cynical and seductive film style. Films produced after the war often reflected the dark, gloomy and bleak mood that was present in America during this era. Depressive narratives were frequent, with unhappy endings, many deaths and a non-linear structure that followed the protagonist chasing a downward spiral of unhappiness and negativity. This is evident in Detour, where Al consistently faces death at his feet. For example, when Charlie, his hitchhiker, dies through heart illness in the car. Mr. Haskell, what's the matter? Are you hurt? Are you hurt, Mr. Haskell? And when Vera dies, when he unintentionally kills her with the phone wire. Vera, open the door. Please open the door. Vera, open the door. Don't use the phone. Listen to me. There is a strong sense of doomed fate in these types of films. Themes that are often run throughout many film noirs are betrayal, adultery, death, drinking, money, obsession, pessimism, isolation, extremities and doomed romance. One of the classic storylines of film noir is when a man becomes involved with a woman who he becomes attracted to. He usually meets her through pure chance or through his job, for example in Double Indemnity where Walter, an insurance investigator, meets Phyllis who wants to use his services to help murder her husband and declare it as an accident. The femme fatale in the narrative then involves the male in an act of crime. Narrative structure within film noirs are often complex, elliptical and convoluted to audiences. It is a journey of dramatic, tense, twisting, unrealistic scenes orbiting double entendres. The protagonist is nearly always male, which reflects a past time gender imbalance slash equality in the 1950s, where men were much more powerful than women. The common plot in the narrative is the downfall of this male character who falls victim to temptation or has been framed. This is usually by a manipulative woman after his money or for sexual intentions. A third person, or the protagonist himself, often recites and unfolds the narrative through a voiceover, adding to the tense mood as rhetorical questions or unnatural non diegetic voices can be deemed unsettling for the audience. Flashbacks are also another common convention of narrative form in film noirs. For example, in Brick, when Emily phoned Brendan at the start of her predictably troubled murder. And in Detour, where Al Roberts is sat in the Nevada diner, which is continuously revisited throughout the film to reflect upon what has happened. There has been much conflict over the origins of the culture and genre of film noir. Three different theorems involved identifying film noir as a style, a subgenre, and an independent genre within itself. The majority of film noirs are shot in black and white to exert the connotations of the gloomy, doomed fate mood, along with portraying the dark themes of death, doomed love and unhappiness. Filmmakers make their decision when crafting a new film to either adapt the typical themes, codes and stylistic tendencies of conventional classic film noirs, or alternatively, produce a postmodern contemporary take on the genre. These films are called neo-noirs, which are usually shot in colour. They were produced post-1970s where a new cycle of films became identified as being written by Pulp Fiction writers. A huge difference in these types of films is a change in development on a contemporary scale. Technological advancements have allowed greater, more complex CGI scenes to take place, and relaxation on censorship and regulation has enabled more explicit sexual and violent scenes and themes to appear. Stranger. <laughs> 